Good day guys, alright, so in this video I want to talk about 1.1, dimensions of physical quantities, alright, so let's, uh, first we want to define what dimensions are and we want to know how they differ from units, okay, so what are dimensions? Dimensions are measurable physical quantities, so physical quantities that you can measure, for example, length or mass or time, okay. Um, and then units are arbitrary names relating to a particular dimension um, to make it relative. Well, let's let's look at what we mean by that. Well, when I say measurable, I mean we can attribute some number. So say you are you are talking about length, right? I can say it's five. Well, five what? It can be five feet, five meters. So when we we when we talk about these different choices of names, right? Feet or meters. That's what we mean by it being relative so let's write that down right so dimensions you can measure it so you can have for example uh, length right you can, it's physical you can measure it and I can say that okay it's five meters right so the length right is the physical quantity is the measurable physical quantity that you call dimension and then this arbitrary name is this meter and we say it's arbitrary because there is no reason for us to choose one over the other. In other words, there is no reason for you to use 5 meters rather than um, feet. Of course, 5 meters is not the same as 5 feet. But the name of it, there, there, there is a conversion of it. There's, there's a sense of relativism in that particular case. So you should always try to find out, okay, how do we convert between units, right? So, for example, okay... Um, Sorry, three feet is approximately one meter, you know, so there is no reason to choose one meter rather than three feet, right? It's completely arbitrary, of course, you know, and, and when I say there is no reason, I mean physics wise, okay? So what is this useful for? Well, in, in physics, or at least in your syllabus, there is a, an idea of homogeneity, okay? And homogeneous, it comes from the word homogeneous, and homogeneous means the same. So it means the same. Now you ask the question, what is it that is the same? Say you have an equation, right? So say you have um, A equals to BC, right? The right-hand side, the unit of the right-hand side of the equation should or at least must be, actually, it has to be the same as the left-hand side. All right? The units of the left-hand side must be the same as the unit of the right-hand side. So let's demonstrate this. Say you have an equation, and assuming that you don't know this is equation, so say you have the equation f equals to g m1 m2 over r square. You know, there are variables here, yeah that are familiar for example force force and it has the unit of newton oh sorry it has the unit of newton mass it has the units of kilograms and for r we have the unit of meters now let's say you want to know what's the unit for this guy g which is called the newton's constant for gravitation right so what you can do now is rearrange the equation right so that g is on the left hand side right so okay i have g on my left hand side what do i have on the right hand side so what we will have is f r square over m1 m2 if we look at the units if we look at the units on the right hand side so units of the right hand side will be newton and then r square so that's meter square over kg square okay and then we remind ourselves that f equals to ma in si unit that is these are all in si units um, f equals to ma so therefore the unit will be kg m as negative 2 so the unit for g will be so let's see kg m as negative 2 and then I have m square and then over kg square can cancel those out um, and this leads to m cube 
um, as negative 2 kg negative 1. So this would be the unit for G. So unit of G is m cube, right? S negative 2 kg negative 1. All right? So that's how you can figure out what's the unit of a particular physical quantity by using this idea of homogeneous or homogeneity. All right. Okay, so that is the end of the video. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.